Hello beautiful people, I am Raj and welcome back to 100 Days to ML where I teach you a new machine learning algorithm every day. In today's video, we are going to look what a neural network is. So let's go. Okay people, so let's see what a neural network is. Neurons are the basic components of the cells of the central nervous system of a human brain which processes, connects and sends signals across the body. Scientists have been dreaming from a very long time to create an artificial intelligence using the concept of human brain. So they came up with the concept of neural network with a mathematical equivalent of the nervous system. So what are the components of artificial neural network? Neurons as mentioned above, neurons from the from the elementary units of neural network that collects, process and transmits information as a signal weights. In computational neural network, a vector of set input at x and output y or pre and post synaptic neurons respectively are interconnected with synaptic weights represented by the matrix w. The output y is denoted as y equals to x w by as an intercept that allows you to shift activation function to the left or right depending on your weights which may be critical for successful learning so the output y is denoted mathematically as y equals to x times w added with bias activation function to get the output y of a layer we add the product of input x, the corresponding weights w, and apply a activation function f of x to it and feed it as an input to the next layer. Optimizer. An optimization algorithm is a procedure which is executed iteratively by comparing various solutions till an optimum or a satisfactory solution is formed so what are different layers in a neural network the first is the input layer through which the data enters the network hidden layer an intermediate layer where the weighted input is collected from the input layer activation function is applied to process the information and it is sent to the output layer a neural network may have zero to n number of hidden layers output layers the final layer where the output is generated after recycle rectifying the information received from hidden layers or the input layers in case hidden equals to zero after applying optimization function so this is a biological neural network system where the inputs are received by synapses of the neurons it is sent through the dendritis to cell body that is the hidden layer and output is received through the axon similar to this artificial neural networks are created where x0 to xm are the inputs a bias b is added to the first input layer and all the inputs are multiplied with the synapses, synaptic weights. These go through the summing function. Then activation function is applied to receive the output. There are different types of neural networks. First, feed forward. This is a basic neural network where the input is received through the input node and exits through the output node. They may or may not have a hidden layer. A radial bias function neural network. It considers 
distance of a point with respect to the center. RBF functions have two layers. First, where the features are combined with the radial bias function in the inner layer and then the output of these features are taken into consideration while computing the same output in the next time step which is basically a memory cohen and self organizing neural network these networks have an objective of cohen mapping where input vectors of arbitrary dimensions are mapped to discrete are mapped to neurons the map needs to be trained to create its own organization of training data it comprises of either one or two dimensions when training the map the location of the neuron remains constant but the weights differ depending on the value so the concept of cohen self organization neural network is to connect the nearest neuron to the nearest point of data and this distance is calculated using the equilibrium distance so neurons with the least distance when recurrent neural network rnn also known as long short memory where the first layer is similar to the feed forward neural network where the data enters through then the data is captured in the next layer and sent back to the first layer this makes sure that the data and the next part of the data is checked properly as there is a memory involved in this this is known as long short term memory convolutional neural network convolutional neural networks are similar to feed forward neural networks these are very important network architecture as it is used in image processing and computer vision which we would be working on in later videos a modular neural network is a collection of different neural architectures so to begin with we will see what a multilayer perceptron is multilayer perceptron is a supervised learning algorithm that learns with function f equals to r power m mapping r power o by training a data set where m is the number of dimensions for input and o is the number of dimensions for output given a set of features x and a target y it can learn nonlinear function approximator for either classifier or regression it is different from logistic regression in that between the input and the output layer there can be one or more nonlinear layers called hidden layers this is the network architecture of a feed forward multi layer perceptron where x1 x2 x3 and so on are the features and the bias is added to the first input layer then these input features are multiplied with the axon weight then the bias is added to the hidden layer and then the output is received to demonstrate multi layer perceptron i would be using our credit card fraud detection data set where the output or the y variable is the class that is either 0 which indicates no fraud and 1 which indicates fraud activity on the card and the features are the factors that determine the class those are the inputs i am going to split into test and train with test being 25% and train being 75% i am going to use the solver as adam adaptive momentum i will keep the learning rate adaptive so that it decides what best learning rate it can use to optimize the outputs properly i would be using 1000 maximum iterations it doesn't actually reach 1000 but if the convergence happen before this it will stop automatically and i am using two hidden layers each of size 200 and 150 i am going to fit this on the train data set and it took around 7 not 8 
seconds that is around 11 minutes and the accuracy that i received is 100 percent hope you guys understood the concept of neural networks and if you like this video please hit the thumbs up below and do not forget to subscribe my channel see you soon in next video